apostles of Icarus. Apostles of Icarus lost in last copies of documents offered to secret pyres. Sifting for heroes, we pan carbonized remains for golden flakes of ash. From the waxy white of faded snapshots, digitized and archived, stare the eyes of pride's resolve, preserved by a second capturing of light. The nameless fascinate the named, pharaohs erased for their follies, soldiers their graves unknown, many but of one monument. We haunt radio telescopes, ghosts to the stars we sieve for patterns to call voices, pitching our eulogy at would-be conquerors. The shield of the earth sears our steel wings as we fall home, flirting with fire. Mars, the bringer of war. Lone rovers thresh these empty continents and seas, sandblasted basalt basins stained with ancient rust. The blue sun staring through these raving skies laments an atmosphere long banished by a stagnant core. Pyroxene pikes and glaives of hazy glass protrude from shallow valleys of volcanic olivine. Across andesite and hematite expanses, iron oxide gales enrobe ridges of feldspar plagioclases in erosive embraces. Lurid ballets of wind and grit on tainted stages grind valorous ballads to violent halts, silence the odes of jovial halls, crescendos shattered by the tremors of advancing troops, the livid grains whose gales clash on plains of battered silicates. Each horde equipped with relics, weapons coaxed from forges long gone cold, fashioned from molten streams of distilled tectosilicates, tempered and honed under unexplained auroras, crystals twinning when these spectral legions reach collision, rivlets of their souls coagulate in bladed waves that wash across the face of Acheron Fosse. The massacre's geology retains, confess, in chronicles of rock, their fossilized bodies, folded in wastelands, pockmarked by astral buckshot. At the summit of Olympus Mons, son of Zeus, you clasp the arms of a throne constructed from limbs of disassembled probes. Legions of damned below poultice your loss of Venus with their agony. Venus, the bringer of peace, Vulcan's eager lips hammer fissures into these lobate lands, spawn flat-topped phara and arachnoid fractures, features concealed by an insular haze of carbon dioxide. Carrara white clouds clothe roiling heavens in corrosive vapors that could fast dissolve the flesh of falling astronauts or could erase, like earthly rain, the sprawling glyphs of chalk from sidewalks where a child spelt her dreams. In spindrift gulfs, sulfuric acid rains baptize angelic choirs whose tortured cries echo across calderas gouged from realms of sterilizing heat, each open sore, a doorway to the forge of hell. No folding of amino acids may profane this virginal surface, may invade this veneer of alabaster smog, may spill dark names upon this cast of sacred plaster clotted over bone. The bomb that graced these desert scapes has vaporized, leaving an atmosphere so dense that meteors create no craters, lingering to contemplate fatal caresses of assimilative flesh. Photodissociated oceans expose beds of fossils crushed to dust and sublimated in volcanic volleys, ghostly imprints lost, our probes like Aeneas, unable to embrace their shades. In ancient Rome, maidens revere love's avatar with mint and rushes. Myrtle-crowned generals cleanse blood guilt, speak Venus victrix, and unwittingly invoke the veninum of Aphrodite's wrath. Fragment for the crew of the space shuttle Challenger. 
Years later, on a Brevard County beach, a mother gently shakes her daughter's hand, dislodging a scrap of metal from the child's grip. Wary of potential infections, the mother checks her daughter's palm and, finding no mark, returns the child to the family umbrella. Lying near a styrofoam cooler, the child reflects on the texture of her artifact, its surface smeared with the greasy kiss of incessant heat, hallmark of car parts and barbecues. The soft gunshot of the pop can that dad hands out and the stinging cold of its aluminum shell brings to mind the shard's gnarled edge and what force shored the fragment from its greater hole. The dark jewel stood out in the sand like a tree's last fallen leaf, its surface browned and curled as if decayed. The pop and the shade fail to lessen the loss of her treasure, so near to its finding. The child pouts, but years later remembers only sand crabs skittering over powdered glass. Thank you very much. Thank you.